What is going on, guys? I'm Director Nat, back for another reaction, and today we are checking out Amphibia Season 3, Episode 16. Today's episodes are called The Three Armies and Beginning of the End. That's how it ends? The end times, kid. This is the end! The end of all things. Part of the journey is the end. It looks like this is the end! The end! The end. The end. The end. So I assume that the first half is going to be about those three armies coming together. Maybe they'll uh, have to figure out how exactly to make that work. Because we've already seen how difficult it is just for toads and frogs to work together. And the way the cast system has been set up for so long is it seems to be uh, newts, then toads, then frogs. So toads and frogs probably both have some reasons to resent newts. And yeah, I haven't really thought about it like this. But at the time I'm recording this, we now have uh, two weeks to go until the series finale because there are only 18 episodes in this season. Now, granted, I've heard that the last episode is apparently 50 minutes, I think, so uh, combined that would be like two and a half additional episodes, but uh, still, in my mind, I'm always thinking, oh, there's about 20 episodes a season, so we have at least a little more time to go, but no, we are really getting close to the end, and the second title of this episode uh, drives that home. Now, I'm confident that the writers know what they're doing and that they're going to give us a satisfying conclusion but uh, with any serious finale, you always have to ask yourself, uh, are they going to be able to wrap everything up? Uh, are my favorite characters going to make it out? And if they do, what are the consequences going to be? And there is a lot that they have to get to in these last few episodes. Uh, defeating King Andreas, uh, the invasion of Earth, which I assume is going to come in the second half of this episode. We'll have to see. Fighting Darcy, freeing Marcy, uh, everybody working through their emotional baggage. And then uh, the biggest question of all, which I'm really afraid of is uh, are, is Anne going to have to say goodbye to Amphibia and the Planters forever? Because they revealed to us in that flashback that using the music box apparently upsets the ecosystem of the multiverse, so once Andrews is defeated and it's time for Anne to go home, they may all decide that uh, the music box can never be used again, which would be really sad, but it would also be a powerful and emotional way to end the series. And what really suggests that to me the most is that I think the last episode is called The Hardest Thing, and obviously we all know that the hardest thing is saying goodbye. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, we still have a few episodes to look forward to, and I'm really excited to see uh, what they've got in store for us. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just get right into it. The Three Armies. Okay, here we are. Our spies tell us that Andreas plans to invade Earth in just a few days. So it's time for our rebellion to mobilize! Which means it's time for us to join up with our new and toad allies. Uh... Historically, frogs, newts, and toads haven't really... And you two have been happily living in Warwood for years! Eh, uh, defined no. happily. That's definitely had its bumps. And there's a chance you guys won't work together? There's an extremely high possibility of that, yes. <laughs> Cheer up, Sash! But I happen to be excellent at brokering peace between feuding factions. I... What? <laughs> I brought the track team and band geeks together that one time to put on the school dance. Only award I've ever gotten. Oh yeah! By pointing out we don't have much time and a lot is riding on this. Mm -hmm. Book of Door. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree to fight alongside you, frogs, but I draw the line at newts. Yeah, and I guess this is especially tense for the two of them because the whole reason that the Toad armies decided to rebel against King Andrews is that they were uh, tired of being just servants to the crown, which the crown uh, and most of Newtopia are made up of newts, obviously, and Dratonio has been a criminal his whole life. He's had to avoid getting arrested by Toad, so yeah, this not only is their general prejudice from both sides, but these two in particular have an especially strong reason not to trust each other. Let's at least try to get along. Did you hear something just now? No. Maybe a small animal squeaking somewhere. Uh. A snobby newt and a bully of a toad. Why am I not surprised? This alliance is over. Toodles! Uh. You would be a waste of time, Sasha. Who can fix 900 years of conflict in a day? Who has two thumbs and is a neutral arbitrator who fell out of the sky? This girl! If Anne thinks she can moderate, we'll stay. As will we. As too. Up, up. We live here. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Let's start the heat! 
God. This show is really a great anime when it wants to be. Leave a weapon, take a number! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to abuse this power. Remember, this is a safe space full of chill vibes and good intentions. Oh. What? I have an idea! You want to bash in the front door, beat up anyone you see, and take the music box. Maybe. All ideas are welcome here. Even bad ones? Especially bad ones. I have an idea. May I propose a more intelligent hmm. approach? Would anyone like to hear my idea? Yes. A frog with a battle strategy? Yes, yes, what is it? Maybe paint a barn? Have a hoedown? <laughs> That's it! That's it! Ian, <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> it's time for team building exercises. Oh no. Next up is the human knot. Or in this case, the human frog toad newt knot thing. Let's play some twister. Come on, toad, figure it out. Yeah, use that big brain of yours. <laughs> Runners, on your mark, get set. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not again! <laughs> now, when I say go. Go? <laughs> <laughs> to work together and save the world? Let me know. You were a total boss out there! I'm so, so, so sorry, son! <gasps> but, 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 but. Aww, oh. joy. Now buck up, soldier. We'll figure out a new plan. Ahem. We came up with a plan! I think that's perfect! It's just like the plan from that movie! War of the Warlocks! That's right! We might not be able to forget the past, but if we work together, we might have a future. Mm -hmm. And let's draw this game plan up and <gasps> Hop to it. Ah, I love it. <coughs> Hello, young friends. I have some very important news. It's Andreas. We almost can feel the tremors of his army's movement. He plans to invade Earth tonight. <gasps> Looks like it's go time. You ready? You heard the lady. Let's move out. Is now a good time to mention that we've also allied with an army of mushroom zombies? Let's give him a oh. minute. Got it. Yeah. The beginning of the end. Oh no. I don't know if I'm ready for this, guys. <gasps> Yay! Flashback. Oh, is this War of the Warlocks? I know what you're thinking. The resistance stands no chance against the Lich King's undead horde. <laughs> Little do they know, the whole battle is just a distraction so that our heroes can sneak into the castle. Oh, and Darcy has access to all of Marcy's memories, so she's they're going to know that this is the strategy that they were going to go with and have a trap ready. Crap. It's just such a good movie and I get carried away. Marmar, I'm joking. I don't actually care. Aww. At least I didn't ruin the second twist where it turns out. <laughs> Hello, fight! <laughs> Stop making me care about these characters. Here comes my favorite part! Guys? Never ever go to sleep. Why didn't Sasha end up in the Book of Losers for that? You'll never defeat us, Lich King! Not now when we, we have, have the, the power, power of friendship! friendship. <sighs> Anne and I will infiltrate the castle, rescue Marcy, and steal the source of Andres's power! Mm. Today we give evil a big fat wedgie! 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 <laughs> I wrote that line. <laughs> oh, really? Couldn't tell. 
Can I have your phone? Sure. Wait, why? Oh, I just put a playlist together of rad tunes to get me amped for the battle. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. This music is filling me with rage. Let's use it. We need to talk about Marcy. You were thinking about her too, huh? She got us stuck here on purpose, Anne. We've all made mistakes, Sasha. And besides, maybe we're partially to blame. Excuse me? We ignored all her interests. We might have ignored her needs too. Maybe that's why she went behind her backs with this crazy plan. Can we really save this friendship? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we have to try. It looks like the worms have decided to make a final stand. Ah, I like it. Oh, they're purple. I like purple. Are we gonna sit here and let the past steal our future? No! Well then, sure! Alright, here we go. It's the Avengers Endgame of Amphibia. Why did I have to say that? That's actually a pretty big army. Guess I'd better get down there. Ooh, that's good. What is this, raspberry? <sighs> <laughs> I was wondering where they were. All right, we get in, get the music box. Last time they were all here, they were enemies, and now they're working together. I love it. Of course, the entire interior is red. Okay, so let's say you're right, and we've been taking Marcy for granted. That doesn't change what she's done. So I'm just supposed to forgive her? Like it's easy? You both are making good points. Forgiveness is hard, and it can take time. But believe me. <gasps> They're bringing everything back. I love this. You're right. Of course you are. Now let's save that lovable little nerd so we can make things right with her. <gasps> Get somewhere. Lady Olivia. I know this is horrible, but it's also kind of awesome seeing them team up. Oh, hey! They really are bringing everyone back. Yes! Yes! Huh? Wait. Oh! Oh, no way! <gasps> Thanos is coming. <clears throat> well, don't stop on my account. Uh, this is it. Sure! I hate him, but he's a pretty great villain. They're too in sync. We can't land a hit. They're not the only ones who are in sync. Mm -hmm. Remember that super dance fusion routine we always used to do? Hit it, Grime. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, remember what I said about this being a great anime? <laughs> okay, I know I've already made this joke before, but not so average fangirl is going to lose her mind over this, I'm sure. Oh my god! What?! <laughs> Marcy has changed. She's no longer the girl you knew. Neither are me and Sasha. No, you don't understand. I can't believe it. It's over. We've won. Uh. <gasps> Hello, girls. Nice of you to fall for our trap. <laughs> what have you done with Marcy? She's up here with us. It's how we recognized your little ruse. War of the Warlocks. <laughs> yep. You're not friends. Not anymore. And examining Marcy's memories, it's doubtful you ever were. Your leaders have been captured. Your rebellion is over. We must retreat. There's nothing else we can do. What? Come on, you're done. losers. I'd say you put up a good fight, but I'm not that good of an actor. <laughs> I mean, he did pull a pretty long con on Marcy and the others, so... Then all that's left is for us to do what you could not. 
kill air. <gasps> Let's make this quick. Wait! Are you sure this will return the stone's power to the box? What if killing me somehow extinguishes the box's power altogether? Ooh. Hmm. You think the core hasn't considered- Shut up, Andreas! Unprecedented. We cannot reach a consensus. We must confirm the energy can be safely extracted before killing her. Oh, what if Marcy is, like, influencing it from the inside? Andreas, portal, now. It's time. <gasps> no! Oh, man. I wanted to see the characters on Earth again, but not like this. Oh no. Ugh! I knew that was gonna happen, I knew it! Ugh! Okay guys, so that was Amphibia, Season 3, Episode 16. So you know the drill at this point, I really enjoyed the first half of the episode, but obviously the second half is where it really shined and really kicked into high gear, but I am gonna give some of my thoughts on the first half before I get into that. So yeah, the first half was pretty much what I expected to be, and yeah, it was a little cliche and over the top in expressing the prejudice between the frogs, toads, and newts, but then again, it is Amphibia, it, at the end of the day, it is a cartoon, and at the very least, I do appreciate that they finally addressed this because this caste system and the prejudice between uh, all the different species has been a recurring thing throughout the show, so it did make sense to address it before getting into the finale. There are a lot of really fun moments with Anne trying to get everyone to get along, and it was a good message at the end that ultimately you can't just force a quick fix to long-existing problems and uh, outside mediators, even with their good intentions, you know, they may be able to help start the conversation, but ultimately the parties involved are going to be the ones to actually need to resolve the conflict. So uh, yeah, that was a really good one, and uh, I enjoyed how everybody finally came together at the end. But, oh my god, the second half, it was it was everything I wanted it to be. Everyone coming together, uh, having their uh, final cheerful moments before everything goes down, Anne and Sasha finally getting to their stuff uh, with Marcy. That was something interesting. I wasn't thinking about them addressing this soon, but uh, it, it makes sense given what Marcy did the last time they saw her. Uh, plenty of action, Andreas. Uh, when he gets into villain mode, man, I, I gotta admit that I really do love his character. We get a few more returning characters in the battle. Everybody gets a cool moment to shine. Uh, yeah, it's just, was so much fun, and when we get into the castle and they finally come face to face with Darcy, I loved that whole scene. It's so great seeing basically Marcy uh, as a villain just corrupted by the and so, uh, and now, of course it had to end on a cliffhanger because it just did, but we have finally gotten to the invasion of Earth, which means we're probably going to be seeing Anne's parents and other characters, uh, back on Earth in the next couple episodes, and then it, there's the whole threat of the, mu using the music box, uh, destroying Amphibia, so, uh, they've got to save Amphibia and Earth at the same time while also saving their friend and then all the other things that I talked about at the beginning of this reaction. So yeah, this was a fantastic episode. I am so glad that we have finally gotten to this point. And obviously I'm sad that the show is getting ready to come to an end, but it looks like they're uh, gonna wrap everything up very nicely and we're going to get some truly exciting and heartfelt moments. So uh, I am so excited to see what Matt Braley and his team have to offer for us. And I can't wait to enjoy the finale with all of you guys. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to all of you. What did you think of this episode? What what were your favorite moments? Uh, what are your predictions and theories for the last couple episodes? Uh, how much are you going to miss this show? And uh, what are you looking forward to the most about the finale? Whatever it is, feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments and let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know as soon as I upload a new reaction. A very big thank you to all of my patrons, especially my fellow directors. Everybody's support goes a long way and you are greatly appreciated. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for Amphibious. Season 3, Episode 17.